Hi guys. I think he's called Tarantula Addiction or something. Oh, Tarantula Cave. Um, hi Spider fans, welcome to the Tarantula Cave. Uh, this nut has got something to say. I was right! <laughs> So unless you've been living under a rock, you'll have figured out that it was the British Tarantula Show 2019 this weekend. It's the first time I've stayed the night before at any Tarantula Show, so a real eye-opener for me to see uh, all the shenanigans that people get up to on the night before. Lots of drinking, lots of chat, lots of spider chat, and lots of fun times. Um, yeah, massive shout out to Gar and Claire for uh, supplying me with Jack Daniels. That was very kind of you. Um, and, uh, and yeah, just great chat with everyone, really. All the kind of usuals um, and a few kind of people I've never met before, which is really great. Um, yeah, such an excellent time. I was really lucky. I bought one of the last five rooms available, which meant I had to buy an executive suite. Don't get too excited. An executive suite at the Holiday Inn in Leamington Spa is not all that. However, I did get a voucher for a free bottle of wine, which came in very handy late in the evening. What can I say about the show? Yeah, it was great. I mean, if anything, it was better than last year. Uh, so much to choose from, um, but I had to make uh, a kind of executive decision. I'm in the process of trying to sort out my health situation. Um, and what that means is I, I couldn't really go crazy on tarantulas, so I just made an executive decision not to buy any tarantulas, essentially. There was too much choice and I got myself into a complete like tiz, trying to work out if I actually wanted any of the stuff that was there, and in the end I thought I'd make it easy on myself just not buy any. So, what did I get? Well, it's funny you should ask, because actually, what really caught my attention was, um, well, two things really. One was the Arthropoda stand um, because they had an amazing selection of very large mantids. And the other thing that caught my eye was the enormous centipedes on Tony Webb's Venomous Visions stand. and I had a complete battle with myself for the whole of the show about whether or not I could justify buying Scolopendra gigantea or Scolopendra galapagoensis, both of which I would love to own, but I just, this time round, couldn't justify the expense. So in the end, I went for something else, which I'll show you shortly. <laughs> Weirdest dog I've ever seen. <laughs>
Charles, do not turn your back on me. <laughs> <laughs> Charles, do not turn your back on me. What could possibly go wrong? I just got roped into doing a kind of group floss experiment for a YouTube channel. It's going to be very exciting. Uh, or maybe not. We'll find out. I'm in the field. Whoa! Oh God. Is that it? it? So what did I get from Tony Webb? Well, in the end, I, I had my eye on um, Malaysian Cherry Red Centipede for such a long time. Really one of my favorite inverts. And every time I see one, I think, ah, I really want it. Um, so in the end, I had to buy one basically. And um, they, the um, Venomous Visions are also selling these awesome centipede glass enclosures now that have um, two levels of defense against your centipede getting out. Um, so the first is a double lid, so it's a sliding glass pane and then a, a removable top lid. Um, so there's two levels of kind of glass between the centipede and you. Uh, and also the vent is double meshed as well with a, with a wider mesh and then a thinner mesh on the front. So in theory, there is no way this centipede is getting out of that enclosure unless I do something really dumb. Um, so I think the package altogether uh, was 95 quid. Um, and Tony very kindly gave me a bit of a discount. So, uh, yeah, happy days. Really, really excited. I just, oh, I love the centipede. I'm so excited about owning it. Um, so I really wanted to share it with you and also I uh, gave a bit of a feed just before filming this. And I think you'll agree it's a pretty impressive bit of footage. So stay tuned for that. Um, other than that, yeah, if you've never been to a BTS show, you definitely need to go because they're amazing and, uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of this video.
So on the Prey Mantis front, I picked up a pair of Orchid Mantis because they are just everybody's favourite Mantis, kind of. Most popular one in the hobby, probably, I guess. Um, I, having seen them in the flesh, they're just absolutely gorgeous. So I had to pick up a pair of those. Um, they came with a warning that I was going to probably find them quite difficult. So hopefully I'll be okay looking after them. Um, I think they have particular temperature and humidity requirements and need to be kept quite stable. So fingers crossed I'm going to be able to deliver that. Um, the other thing I picked up was a pair of Rhombodera Mantis, so uh, I think they're Asian Giant Leaf Mantis. Uh, absolutely gorgeous, huge, 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 so hopefully they're going to be big and beautiful. Um, and the final pickup was a pair of Dead Leaf Mantises, which I was actually given by Guy Tansley from Bugs and Stuff, um, who is an absolute star. <laughs> I had six pairs of Diaphrodes Gigantia um, stick insects to sell uh, for five quid a pair. Uh, I offered them to people via Instagram. No one really contacted me, so I asked Guy if he would mind putting them on his stand to shift them for me. And he was kind of like, I'll give it a go, but you haven't got any adult females here, so they probably won't shift. Uh, and he sold them in two minutes, which was brilliant, which meant I had an extra bunch of money uh, to spend on what I did buy, which is really, really good. So really appreciate that guy, massive help.
As always, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Please hit the bell icon to get notifications of new videos I post once a week. Um, if you enjoyed it, tell your friends. Let's get some more people involved in this channel. That'd be really lovely. If you have something to say, comment below. If you picked up something cool from the BTS, comment below. If you enjoyed any particular part of this video, comment below. Basically, comment below. Um, and I will reply to every one of those comments as I always do. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.